and today we will be going over sensors. What we have here is a Peterbilt 379. I'm going to be going over just a couple of these sensors and then we're going to be visiting some other trucks so that you guys can get a vast view of the different locations of different sensors on different trucks. So today we're going to be going over the speed referencing time sensor which uh, there will be a picture to follow so you can get a better look at it. I have the boost pressure sensor and we're going to go over the oil pressure sensor which is down here right behind the fuel filter. Also I have a picture of it so you guys will be, be able to see it a lot better. Uh, so we're going to start over here with the speed referencing time sensor. Now what this does is this uses pulse width, pulse, pulse width modulation to make sure that your camshaft and your engine speed are in sync so that the engine can perform at the top performance that it's able to. Uh, it uses pulse width modulation because it's easier for your ECM to read and then translate into engine speed. Then we're going to come over here to our boost pressure. Now what our boost pressure sensor does is it is the ambient air temperature minus the intake manifold pressure that'll give you the boost pressure now what that does is there's a sensor in here and it's piezo resistant i believe and now what that means is there's a piece in there and it varies based on the pressure that that sensor feels with inside the top portion of this engine and it, when it feels the the pressure change that's what tells you that will give you the light if it happens to be too low or a warning sound if it happens to be too high and that is what is translated into the ECM as data so that you will know what's going on in there. And then finally we have the oil pressure sensor which is down here. Uh, this is also PCO resistive. Now what that does is the oil pressure that's going through the engine as we all know when things heat up it expands causes pressure. So that sensor does is allows the ECM to read how much pressure is building oil wise within that engine because you don't want to have too much oil pressure because then you're going to blow seals, you're going to blow a lot of things in there. So this regulates and tells your ECM to keep it down low so that you have proper operating out of this engine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a walk over here to an international and we're going to go look at three different ones on that truck. So uh, I'll meet you guys over there. All right, welcome back, everybody. We've moved over to our Transtar International. What we got here, we're gonna do the tr throttle positioning sensor. Now, if you guys wanna get up in there, right by the gas pedal, you will see the sensor to which I am talking about. Right there. Uh, now, what that sensor does is exactly what the name implies. It uh. Let you know exactly the position of the throttle, which then in turn either delivers more fuel to the engine or reduces the amount of fuel to the engine. Uh, just by allowing that sensor, allows you to either pick up speed or if you release the pedal, uh, you will stop accelerating and you will begin to start slowing down. And that also uh, controls the fuel being injected into the engine. So now our second one, going with the whole fuel theme, uh, it's gonna be really hard to see because we're really packed in here. We got a lot of stuff uh, right behind our ECM, which is this giant block right here. We have a fuel rail sensor. And now what that does is that senses with, in regards to the fuel, I'm sorry, I apologize, the fuel rail pressure sensor. Um, in regards to when you're pressing on the throttle, which is the gas pedal, it either will build the pressure in the fuel rail or allow the pressure to be relieved in the fuel rail, uh, i.e. if you've come to a stop, turn the vehicle off, uh, does not allow an overbuild of pressure in the fuel rail to continually to build and create an overbuild of pressure. Or if you are driving, that allows the proper amount of pressure to be used with the injectors. 
I'm gonna take a walk around here now. And concluding our whole fuel theme, we have the exhaust gas temperature sensor, which is gonna be right here and right here. Uh, now what these do is these regulate the temperature of your exhaust gas to make sure that fuel to air ratio is being properly burnt off. Make sure it's not too hot in there. Make sure you know you're getting good, good readings. That way you don't get any warning lights on your dashboard. Um, after this, we'll be heading over to the Freightliner and we'll be concluding this video. So uh, let's take a walk over there and see what we got. Alright everybody, welcome back. To finish up our sensor identification, we have ourselves a military Detroit Series 60 Freightliner. We're going to be going over our map, which is our manifold absolute pressure sensor. What this does is this regulates the pressure in the manifold. You don't want it too high. You have too much pressure in here, you're going to start blowing seals, rings, pistons, anything of that nature. You want, you want to stay away from that. This helps regu regulate it. Next, we're going to drop down to our oil pan. And we have an oil temperature sensor in the oil pan. And what that does is it regulates and lets the ECM know the temperature of the returning oil from the engine. You want it, it, it has a temperature range in which it needs to be at. If it's too high, then you have a cooling issue and that, that's something you need to go into the shop and have fixed because you're not supposed to have hot oil or too hot oil. Or if you're not heating up the way it should be, you're not gonna get the proper performance you need from this engine. And lastly, uh, due to a minor accident, we need to replace the coolant reservoir on this which allows me to now show you what the engine coolant temperature sensor looks like. Now what this will do is it will be down into the engine block and this will let you know the temperature at which your engine coolant is at. Thus telling you how the cooling efficiency of your engine is. Again, if it's too hot, you're gonna start season, you're gonna seize the block, you're gonna blow seals, you're gonna blow rings, crack pistons going to be a, a giant storm of crap you don't like. So this little bad boy right here helps to regulate that and let your ECM know that you got proper cooling. I appreciate you taking this nice day out with me and going through these sensors on these three trucks. I appreciate your time and you have yourself a great day.